it says, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. That introduces us to creation, to the world that we know, and to our God. His Spirit is at work in the earth, and His Spirit is at work in our individual lives. God is not disconnected Himself from His creation. Amen. He is moving. He is working. The Spirit of God leads us. It teaches us. It washes us and renews us. It draws us. It convicts us. It baptizes us. It guides us. It empowers us. It equips us. The Holy Ghost is God in action. It is God moving. He never sleeps and He never slumbers. He never becomes weary in well-doing. Our God is alive and our God is at work. Yes, Praise the Lord. God. This is my thank God of praise. This is where the church gets its power and its boldness and its faith and its authority. It is not just singing songs. It is not even preaching sermons. It is not because we are gathered together as people. It is God working among us, God working in us, and God working through us, God inhabiting our praise, God touching our lives. That is what everything that we do is about. This is why the Bible says that all that you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name of Jesus. Because the name is what brings God's spirit into our midst. The church gets its power from the Holy Ghost. When the church is led of the spirit, when the church is moving in harmony with the spirit, when the church is doing what the spirit is doing. I'm talking about power in the church. How do we have power in the church? It is when you and I, who have the infilling of the Holy Ghost, are moving with the Spirit of God. When we're united as one with Him. When we're all in one place and in one accord. When we're all desiring the same thing, being led of the Holy Ghost and moving with God, not against Him. For the Bible says, quench not the Spirit of God. It is us being sensitive to the Holy Ghost. That's what it's all about. God can be in our midst, but if our senses are dull, we will not even know it. But if we can be in tune, if we can have our senses keen and sharp, then we can discern that God is in our midst. And that's what gives a church service its power. It is recognizing God is in our midst and He's wanting to work and discerning what does the Holy Ghost of God want to do in this service right now. church in the book of Acts was powerful because they did all in the name of Jesus and they prayed and they were discerning and they were led by the Spirit of God. They knew what God wanted to do and worked with the Lord. In Acts 3, Peter and John went to the temple to pray. And as they went through the gate beautiful, there was a man that was laying there. The Bible says every day he was brought and laid down at that gate where he would ask people for alms as they went by. This means that every day because
Ghost, the Bible says, they went up daily for prayer. Every day that lame man was there. That was not the first time they would have seen him. But this day was different. Peter turned and fastened his eyes upon the lame man and said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. And when the man did not rise up, he reached out and grabbed him by the hand and lifted him to his feet. And when he was lifted up, the ankle bones in his legs were strengthened and he was healed and he went leaping into the temple, praising God. This was because these holy men were sensitive. They understood this is something that God is wanting to do. God is wanting to show this city. God is wanting to show these yes. Jews that he is not in the sepulcher. They did not really kill God on the cross. But he is alive and well yes. working in the church. Amen. Amen.